Now that is the kind of truck a person needs right now. Hey there, hi there, ho there. How are you guys on this beautiful day? We gotta leave the truck running today. I've come to realize that when I'm talking beside an interstate, the microphone picks up the traffic, which is fine. It's better than the truck running because I don't have to yell really. But what it does is I think it's messing with my microphone and it kind of makes it look like you're watching a foreign film when you watch my video per se. That's why the truck's running. All right, pretty easy agenda today. We're gonna finish our trip out to, uh, where are we going? Ah, heck, I forgot the name of the town already. We're going south of Oklahoma City. We're gonna drop that load off and then we're gonna beeline it over to Las Lunas, New Mexico and drop the rest of the load off. Today's load is beef. It doesn't say exactly what kind of beef, but it came from the same place that I hauled all those sirloins from a couple weeks back. So I'm gonna assume that it's sirloins, you know, just steaks, complete steaks. It's a complete product ready to eat. Um, you guys slept too much last night. You know, I tried waking you up, but you guys wouldn't wake up. So we got a few things done last night while you were sleeping. We put a new antenna mount on, new, well, new spacers, new rubber washers, the whole works. No one really uses CBs much anymore, but I want my CB to work good. And it wasn't working right, so we're gonna try that. I think it's gonna help it out a lot. We also went ahead and put the CB antenna straight up versus having them angled up. I used to run all my antennas angled up, or yeah, angled versus straight because the old theory used to be when you're going down the road, the antenna would blow straight up and it'd be straight up. Well, I think that's kind of been proven wrong. So we're gonna go straight up with them for a little bit. Did I tell you guys how nice the weather is here? Yeah, I probably did, but you were sleeping. You can't sleep that much. You cannot go to bed that early. And we finally got the license plate sticker on the license plate. I'm only a few months behind, but I had it technically. It's gonna be a windy drive today, because it is breezy. I'm hoping this microphone little, I don't know if they call that a dead kitten or they call that a uh, wind sock. I hope it's working good. Well, I hope everybody's feeling really good and everybody's healthy. Taking my advice, stay happy, stay happy, chipper. Because, um, you know, that's all you can do right now is stay happy and chipper. A lot of people freaking out, though. Do right, though. I mean, you can freak out, too. But try to stay happy while you're freaking out. That should work, right? Well, I'm going to jump back up into the truck, get the logbook scribbled on, and we're going to go ahead and hit the road and go play around in Oklahoma for a little bit. over here tells me I should be there probably around 5 o'clock today. We'll see what time it turns out being. I kind of, well, I just will tell you. I wasn't going to tell you, but I just will tell you. I kind of goofed up when I took the load. I, uh, I didn't look at the delivery time. The delivery time for this load is uh, 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Yeah, I could have went home and spent the whole day yesterday and left this morning. 
Paul's Valley, Oklahoma is just a shade over 700 miles from home. But we didn't. That's the way it goes. So, we're just going to take our time, drive down the road, probably set the cruise around 62, 64 mile an hour, kill some time there, and get there when we do. stores you don't need to or go shopping and right now I just interacted with four people that's more people in person than I've interacted with in the past six days the past six days I interacted with three people now I just interacted with four in one stop so I am just soaking myself with hand sanitizer here so I can touch my face like I said the other day they say don't touch your face it's like wanting to hit a red button. They say don't hit a red button, you hit the darn red button. But I had to go in here. Because the way I look at it, if the world is going to come to a close and come to a stop. See? You gotta have chrome. That's going to dress things up so much. I'll bring you down. Come on. But see, see, pretty beach covers. Pretty, pretty. But yeah, if the world's going to end, I want chrome. I, I just do. I, I'm sorry. Oh! I lost all my two cookies. May you rest in peace, my cookie friends. But I'm not going to eat Lysol. Now that is the kind of truck a person needs right now. Wouldn't that be fun? I mean, of course it's 100% fake, but that thing would be fun to play with.
sorry, Warden. Really, truly am. I know I told you I'd park at truck stops, be safe. And last night I parked at a rest area, but it was a big one. Joe, honey, you also got to remember what I've told you about the truck stops down here. You get south of that Kansas line, they get rough. I'm not saying the people are bad. And inside the truck stops is usually decent. It's the parking lots. I don't know, you got different clientele down here. Let's just put it that way. And it's not everybody. There's always a select few. But I can't do it. I can't park at a truck stop tonight. But as you can see, I am parked where other trucks are parked. It's a casino that is closed up because the whole thing going on. You know, you guys always see me walk around the truck, walk around the trailer. Yes, I'm just talking to you, but I'm also looking around. The reason you want to do that is little stuff. You know, it's license plates, unacceptable boys and girls, unacceptable. But it is what it is, I don't own it. And usually, most of them, 90% of them are in really good shape. We just got a place, well, I'm gonna final out in Dodge City, Kansas, and we can't drop good trailers there. They're rough on them. They are just rough, so. We usually send the older stuff there. And earlier, I didn't get it on camera, but I was following one of those trucks that has uh, a dump wagon on it and he was throwing garbage everywhere going through Oklahoma City. Just everywhere. I sure am glad I'm here to pick his garbage up. That's going to require both hands. It's in there pretty good. I'll be back with you in a minute. So when I'm walking around my truck and trailer, I actually am doing something other than talking. I'm looking around, seeing what's going on, seeing what might be bad, what might be good. I'm gonna jump in the truck. I don't know if I have any more to say or not. So we're just gonna leave it at this. If you guys like this video, like it. If you're a new subscriber and have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Be happy, be healthy, for God's sake, be safe.